Did you just retire that old computer? What are you going to use it for? Why not turn it into a file server with SME server operating system? SME is a very versatile operating system. It has full server capabilities, including FTP and web serving. Okay, on our first uh, window here, we show the boot screen for the CD. You can just select enter. This is to check our installation media for integrity. Select OK. And here we're going to select English for our language, for most of us. And then here we will ch select our keyboard. For most of us, it'll be US keyboard, which is further down the list. Uh, we're being warned that our disks are about to be formatted and all data on them will be lost. Uh, here we will select our time zone. For us in the mountain area, we would select Boise or Denver. And this is the installation process. It has a countdown on it, basically, where you can watch your progress. And now, installation complete, we're doing a post install. And then we select reboot on this screen. We remove the installation media and as it reboots, we get this screen. Uh, we do not want to restore from backup. This is a new installation. Uh, here we put in our administrator password. This needs to be a secure password using upper lower case letters and alphanumeric characters. Here we are going to verify that password. Type carefully. And here we put in our domain name. If you do not have a registered domain, it can be anything you like because it's just for internal networking. Uh, here we're going to put a name uh, for the SME box. Once again, this is for internal networking, so you can put anything you like. And here is the IP address area. Uh, we can use any IP address that is available on the network. And here is the area for the subnet mask. Uh, we can use the default. And we're going to select server only in, in uh, this window because we have a router on the network already, so we don't need the server to do routing. And here is the default gateway IP address, which is usually the IP address of our router. And then here we select nothing. We just select next. Uh, the, uh, the DNS entries are not required. Uh, and we are selecting no DHCP because our router, once again, is handling this for us. And now uh, we're standing by to uh, for the uh, settings to be activated. And then on this next screen, it might seem a little redundant, but they're asking us to activate our changes. And then we reboot. And when we reboot, uh, we can go into the server manager by going to the IP address slash server dash manager and we can set our users, our storage areas, uh, we can set our email settings, uh, our areas for uh, remote contact information. 